Hello, welcome to Munson Made This. Happy New Year. It has been a while since I have filmed a recipe video, a while since I filmed any video. I've honestly tried filming a few different things in the last few weeks slash month, but uh, haven't really, nothing's come to fruition. Um, I do have some stories to tell, so I will film an entire video that details what I've been doing, what I've been going through, what's been happening in my life over the past month, and why I'm in this entirely different kitchen, which happens to be my mom. So thank you to my mom for letting me use her kitchen and her space to film this video and to kind of start life over again. More of that in the other video. Um, but today I am filming this recipe. Um, got a lot of ingredients here. And basically, this is something that I have experienced in the last month. I had a little bit of a rut, and I uh, wasn't really feeling inspired, and I was able to go to San Francisco and basically wander around for a week. Um, I was pup-sitting for my friend Adam there, so thank you, Adam, for letting me pup-sit and uh, wander around your city. So I basically wandered around, and one day I wound up at Tartine Manufactory. I think that's how you say it. Um, and one of the only vegan items on their menu was a avocado tartine. And the menu said, with salsa seca and nutritional yeast, I ordered it. Um, I'll put a picture up here somewhere uh, that shows exactly what I got. It was beautiful. I took a bite and immediately fell in love and needed to know what exactly was on top. Looking back at the menu, seeing this word, word salsa seca, I was like, well, there's not a sauce. It's like a nut, spicy nut and seed mixture. So I'm not sure exactly what this is. I posted a picture on Instagram. They liked the picture. I asked them what exactly is on top of this avocado tartine slash toast. And they said it's salsa seca. And I was like, okay, so I need to figure out what salsa seca is. Um, I didn't really get very far. There wasn't much information until I realized the word seca uh, in Spanish means dry. So essentially what it is is a dry salsa. So that kind of got me down a rabbit hole. Um, I ended up coming across uh, what's called salsa maca, I believe is how it's pronounced, M-A-C-H-A. -A. Um, and that is, um, I'm going to post some links to some information below just so I can keep this a little bit more concise, but I'll post some links to a little bit more about exactly where this comes from and what the idea is. Uh, and just a note sort of on where I'm coming from with this. Um, what I'm gonna be doing here today and showing you this version of a salsa seca is basically me trying to rip off what I had at Tartine. So I'm not sure how authentic this recipe um, is trying to be, uh, but basically this is Munson's version of the salsa seca at Tartine. But if you wanna know more about sort of where the origins of this, um, this condiment are, I, I will post some links below. So, enough said about that. Uh, let's go ahead and start assembling some things and I'll talk about what all is going on here. So the first and most important ingredient I have uh, is this dried chili. Now this is a California chili. Comes in this bag. Um, looking up some things online, it seems like you can kind of use various chilies for a salsa seca like this. Um, I did try chili de arbol, which, uh, oh, actually, I'm going to show you what this kind of looks like. This is a test batch here. Um, you probably won't be able to see it very well. I'll give you a closer up shot, but it's just a mixture of nuts and seeds and chili and a bit of oil, some seasonings. And uh, I used chili de arbol in here and it is so, so spicy that it's almost inedible. I'll still eat it. Um, but I decided to go with this California chili because it's a little bit more mild and uh, for people that don't like spice, but like maybe a little bit of heat, it's probably good. So what I have here is probably about six or seven of these dried chilies and I just ripped them apart, took out the seeds and then pulsed them in a magic bullet until they're kind of a granular texture. It's not, a powder by any means. Um, it's sort of like smaller than maybe like rolled oats. So I have um, the full ingredient list is gonna be uh, linked below to MunsonMadeThis.com. I'll have all of my ingredients, the amounts. Um, but basically I just packed a half cup with these dried chilies, uh, pulsed it, and so it's basically kind of like a third cup of dried uh, California chili. Here are roasted pepitas, pumpkin seeds that have been shelled. By the way, all the nuts and seeds other than the flax 
are already toasted. If your nuts slash seeds aren't toasted, I would recommend toasting them in advance just because of the process that I'm going through with it. That um, only the chili is kind of going to be toasted in the oil mixture. So uh, you want to make sure that the nuts and the seeds are already toasted ahead of time. So pepitas here are roasted, also unsalted sunflower seeds. These are cashews that I just, just like I did with the chili, pulsed. So it's, again, somewhere between like, it's a little bit granular. There's some big bits. You want to be able to look at it and say, oh, is that, is that cashew in there? These are sesame seeds. Now these are just white sesame seeds. Ideally, if you're making it like tartine, you have a mixture of black and white. I have some flax seeds. These are whole flax seeds now all over the counter. And then not nuts or seeds, but I have here some dried um, garlic and onion, not the powders. They are the, I guess it's diced or minced. And then lastly, because it's a Munson made this take on a recipe, nutritional yeast. So what's gonna happen here is I'm going to, I probably should have just done this. Uh, I'm gonna combine all the nuts and seeds into a bowl here. Then I'm going to take the chili and I'm going to put it in some oil on the stove, bring it up, let the chili toast lightly, let it sort of mend with the, or mend, uh, blend with the oil. Ideally, we wanna make like a, a chili oil that's gonna go on all of this stuff. So it's gonna hang out with the oil, share its flavor and its color with the oil. The oil is gonna to toast this slightly. We're gonna combine everything together. And then the sad part is we have to wait probably about 24 hours to consume this because we really want those flavors to mingle. So. I think I've said enough. I'm gonna throw everything in this bowl like I should have just done as I was explaining it to you. And then uh, we'll head back to the stove and we'll do the oil portion, combine it, and then we're good. So I just have the stove here on medium heat. This is about one third cup of oil and I'm adding the dried chili to that. Apologize for the handheld. Really trying to make this kitchen work for me. And I'm just going to stir this in. I wanna make sure that everything is coated in the oil so if I have too many chilies or I feel like there's not enough oil. I'll probably add just a little bit. So this is gonna go medium heat. I'm gonna keep stirring, keep my eye on it. I do not want the chili to burn. I want them to get nice and toasty and to impart their flavor into the oil. So this has been going for maybe a minute, minute and a half. Uh, it's pretty much ready to go. I, again, I don't want it to burn. So what I'm gonna do is just add, pardon me, Add the nuts and seeds that I mixed together in there, turn off the heat and remove it. So this is gonna basically stop the cooking of the chilies and it's just, that way they don't burn. I'm gonna mix this together and I will meet you back at the counter island. Instead of transferring it to a dish, I just decided to finish it in the pot here. So there's not a ton of excess oil. I'll show you a top-down shot here in just a sec. Um, there's not a, to a, a ton of oil in here, which is great. If you wanted to add a little bit more, you could. That way you have more kind of a chili oil moment. Uh, I'm gonna add the final items, the garlic and onion, the nutritional yeast, and I'm adding some salt. So I'm just gonna mix this together. And like I said, you really want this to kind of hang out for about 24 hours. Um, I think that's kind of a minimum. You have the oil that's infused with the chili. It's seasoned. It's going to taste great. And I am going to taste this here in a, a second to make sure that I'm on the right track. But I think that you really want the nuts and seeds to kind of absorb the oil. You want the garlic and the onion to mend with that or to blend with that oil as well. You could even, if you wanted to, add fresh garlic to that oil mixture, impart flavor that way. I personally just like the texture of the dry onion and garlic. Let's give this a taste. It looks and smells incredible. Oh yeah. The first mixture, from the first uh, batch that I made back here, was so, so tasty if you could get past the heat. This, using the California chilies, perfect. It just has a really nice chili flavor, the kind of smokiness, um, but there really isn't much heat. I maybe would even want to add like one chili de arbol to spice things up. Maybe I can combine the two. 
uh, and have kind of a medium spicy. So I'll show you what this looks like up close. And then um, let's make an avocado toast. I have some beautiful bread from Manresa Bread. I have an avocado I think is ready to go. Um, and I'll plate something up that kind of looks like the inspiration, hopefully. Here I have a beautiful piece of bread that I toasted just on the griddle. Um, this is from Manresa Bread, which is very close to where I am here in Campbell. And I'm going to top this with avocado. This is just a half of an avocado mashed slightly. I feel like tartine was maybe a little bit more generous with the avocado than I'm going to be here. But I guess treat yourself. Mm. Looks so good. One thing that I don't have, just because I'm too lazy to go out to the tree right now and pick it, is some lemon. So you definitely want to finish this off with a little bit of lemon drizzle. And let's add our salsa seca. This is the, the stuff I just made today. So it should have hung out for a little bit longer. Again, 24 hours is probably pretty good. Beautiful color already though. Gonna add just a drizzle of olive oil. I know it's already full of oil, but a little drizzle of olive oil that'll mix with the chili. And lastly, a little bit of fresh cilantro. And here we have my take on the Tartine Manufactory Avocado Tartine. Made with my homemade salsa seca. I'm actually really excited about this, like kind of impressed that I pulled this off. I mean, I did this sample batch yesterday. I knew that the chili was a problem. I had some other things I wanted to tweak about it, but I think I did a pretty good job, honestly. Uh, if you do know about the sort of origins of this or know a little bit more about where like a salsa seca comes from, or if you have your own experiences, or your own versions, please comment below and let me know. Cause again, I'm really new, freshly introduced to this. I don't want to take credit for anything that of course is not mine. I just had this at a restaurant, thought that it was incredible, needed it in my life. And so I've come up with something that approximates that to the best of my ability. And uh, I want to give this a taste to see how well I actually did. Again, I think it could use probably a little bit of a lemon. Mm -hmm. It is so, so good. And this was just made a few minutes ago, so it's gonna get even better after a little bit of time marinating. Uh, lemon would be great, definitely suggest that, especially with the avocado. This would also be great on like roasted vegetables, Brussels sprouts. I think there's just like so many uses for this. I think that too, if you added a little bit more oil, um, kind of fully submerged it, you would have like a really nice, like chili oil moment going on. Lots of good stuff here, something good to experiment with good rabbit hole to go down. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, sort of a update video of what's been happening with me is gonna come out very, very soon because a lot's happened. Uh, I live in California now, for the most part. So uh, thank you all for being around. Thanks for coming back. It's been a while. Thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. And I will see you again very soon. Promise, I have lots of ideas, feeling inspired. And I'm gonna eat more of this. Mm. So, so good. All right. Bye.